lesson, we're going to look at the artist Roy Lichtenstein and his larger-than-life comic book paintings. He is famous for taking comic book strips and repainting them in huge masterpieces. He's also known for his use of comic book words, which is what we're going to try to copy. Oftentimes you'd see him paint with these stencils to make these dots. They're called Ben Day dots. So when you stand back from them, they blur into a different color. In keeping with Lichtenstein's art, you're going to choose a word or a series of letters. I did VMHS here. Draw it in block letters. You want your block letters to be touching. This is important. You'll see why later. Then include a shape around the letters. And lastly, a pattern. The pattern is supposed to be sort of the Lichtenstein thing. Dots make sense for his Bende dots, but I did a grid. You can do any pattern you want. Next is time to color it in. You only get three colors because that's going to make sense later when we only use three colors to print. So one color for the word, one color for the shape, and one color for the pattern in your background. When you're happy with this, you're going to get a piece of tracing paper, the see-through paper. You need to retrace your design. We're going to use this to flip the image onto your printing block. When you're done tracing it, you need a piece of thin styrofoam. This is a styrofoam print printing block. Really important, you have to flip your word over. Otherwise, it will print backwards. This is so important. Now, I like to use a ballpoint pen and retrace my image. As I'm tracing, I'm pushing into that styrofoam, making a little bit of a dent. When you're done, throw that paper away. It's all trash from ripping through it, but you do need to retrace on the styrofoam. So take that ballpoint pen and go over each of your lines again, pressing deep into the styrofoam. Now you're actually ready to print. Grab a mess mat, cover your table. You need a tray. You need a brayer, that's the tool that rolls the ink. And you need a tube of ink. The ink should be the same color that you chose to make your pattern. Put a very small amount of ink on your tray. You can always add more, but if you do too much, you're gonna have a big blobby mess. Touch the brayer up into that ink. You don't wanna get it all on there. And you need to roll out an even layer. It'll feel sticky or tacky. It should not feel like you're sliding. Now you're gonna roll that ink onto your styrofoam piece. Notice how it's not getting where you made the dents, all your lines in the styrofoam. It should not get in there. If it is, you have too much ink, go wash up and try again. Once you're satisfied you've gotten it inked, put a piece of paper on top. You need to give it a little massage with your fingertips. Make sure you get every spot on there. Pull it off and you'll see your first print. First one's always bad. I don't know why, but the ink never quite takes on the first go around. So you always print at least five times. So you need to print five times for this project. Watch out for things getting on your styrofoam. It leaves those little white dots. This printing project we're doing is called a reduction print, meaning we take away parts of the printing block every series of print that we make. So right now I'm cutting off the pattern. That's garbage. Throw it away. You're ready to start with a new color. So grab that bad print. Let's always start with the bad print because that'll be garbage in the end. Get your mess mat. New color. This is the color that you made your shape. Remember my shape was yellow. Again, roll out that color. Sometimes you'll find that you have to roll for quite a while to get that orange peel texture, that tacky texture. Once you've inked your styrofoam, you're gonna line it up in your prints. 
press it down, but you need to flip the paper over and give it a massage again. Otherwise it won't take all the ink. So it's really important that you flip the paper so you're actually massaging the paper. Wash the tray, the brayer, and the styrofoam between each series of prints. Make sure they're dry. For our final reduction, we're gonna cut away the shape. You should be left with just your word. This is where it was important that your, all your letters were touching. If you have a little weird window like I have between the S and the H, you're gonna to have to grab an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat to cut that out perfectly. Um, inside an A, that would be another example of where you need to cut out a window. For this last printing session, you need to choose your color of the word. So whatever color you made the word in your picture and ink it up. Once again, set it, print it, flip that paper and massage it on the paper side. Always start with that bad print. And in the end, I want you to turn in your very best print of your series of five. If you notice your colors aren't coming out the way you want, you may adjust your color. For example, my purple looked really dark, didn't look purple, looked almost black. So I added white to it to make it a brighter color on the print.